everyone. Uh, welcome to today Power BI training section. Um, so in this uh, training section, we are going to show you the benefit of the uh, calendar table and uh, the debt uh, field as well as the um, uh, the uh, the uh, debt hierarchy. Uh, so let's start now. Uh, so we will build this table based on the available uh, revenue information and coming from this uh, international sales table. So here we have the revenue and the, uh, uh, the sales debt and we will build this table uh, where uh, it shows the revenue of the uh, current period and uh, previous uh, period. Uh, in this example, we use the year as period. So this one is the revenue of current year and previous year and year-on-year -year change. Um, so we create a new page. Um, so let's uh, read the revenue and the debt. Uh, and then we change the t uh, the uh, visual into matrix. So here uh, we have this uh, revenue and debt. And now we uh, let's uh, first uh, build uh, 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 a measure for pre uh, pre prior year revenue. Um, so we create new measure. And we set at um, prior year revenue equal to. So we uh, use the uh, calculate formula, and um, we use the revenue. Uh, here we we need uh, we cannot find a uh, uh, revenue column, so we need to use the uh, sum function first, and then we type revenue. Now we could see that the uh, uh, international sales uh, revenue column here and the second and, um, parameter is the uh, condition so we filter the, uh, the debt of uh, previous year so we use the uh, debt add function where uh, it help us to move the given set of debt by a specified uh, interval Oh, so our interval here is the year. But first, uh, we need to tell Power BI uh, which debt. Uh, so let's first we use the um, uh, this one international sales debt. So we type debt international sales and number of interval is uh, minus one because we are calculating for previous year and the interval is year and. And now we uh, uh, put it into our table. And let's have a look. Um, so here, let's say here we have the on the 4th of January 2013, we have the prior year revenue a uh, 724. And let's have a look um, here. Yeah, we could see 724, but what we want is that uh, we first uh, we need the debt hierarchy, right? And um, we need to see the uh, uh, the total revenue by year, not by day. So let's try first try the hierarchy, um, and um, so we train here, so we could see. Our debt here have the uh, debt hierarchy, so we change it to debt hierarchy. Yeah, and now we could see the debt hierarchy, and then let's say we expand on. But the issue here is that we no longer can find high the revenue of uh, uh, a single day or a month or a quarter or a year. So the issue is that uh, our measure is using the debt rather than debt hierarchy. If we put the, uh, uh, the debt hierarchy, uh, let's say we calculate by year, 
um, yeah, we uh, we get an error, and the issue is that this uh, formula is not uh, supported. Uh, so we close, and uh, so we delete the hierarchy here. Um, so this is the way we cannot get so what we want. And um, that's why we need to create a new table uh, called the uh, calendar, uh, where we have uh, on the on the uh, consecutive date here. Uh, we have on the consecutive dates from the beginning until the end date of uh, on of the uh, available date in our uh, in our data. So the formula we use is a calendar auto. And to create this one is uh, very easy. We just add the, uh, so the formula here, calendar, calendar auto, and we add the new table. And um, yeah, so we just type calendar auto. And this one, we just uh, create, uh, t use the table as a name. Yeah, and here you could see that we have the same table here, but um, we are going to use this one for our uh, uh, new measure. So come back to this one, and uh, we will create a new measure uh, using this one. Uh, but first, uh, let's uh, generate the uh, relationship between the two uh, tables. So we have the relationship here. And um, now we create a new measure. Okay, and uh, we use this one. We name this one at last year uh, revenue equal to calculate. So we use the same uh, function. Mm. Calculate uh, revenue, and we use that as that at, and the debt here now is no longer international sales, but calendar debt, and the interval is still minus one and year. So let's build a new table. So we have this one, uh, last year revenue, right? And then we want the revenue and then the debt. We use, now we use the calendar debt and then we turn this visual into matrix. And now uh, we get uh, uh, the, um, the, uh, the uh, total revenue by year or uh, by quarter or by month. Uh, rather than this old table, and um, to create a year-on-year -year change, and uh, it's easy. We just use the uh, quick measure here, and um, so Power BI uh, help us uh, uh, build in some quick uh, measure so that we don't need to uh, use the formula. Uh, so here, in this case, we use year over year change, uh, quick measure, and the base revenue is sum of revenue. And the debt here, we use the uh, calendar debt, and we click OK. So and then we read this one into our table. And let's uh, collapse. Collapse on. Okay, so uh, and uh, you may notice more notice this small point here is that this one the debt uh, there is no longer hierarchy in the debt. So here the calendar debt uh, we have the uh, debt hierarchy and this one previously we could also oh, see the debt hierarchy, but uh, once we create a relationship between the two or uh, few, um, the debt hierarchy 
on the uh, international ta sales table disappear. Um, so let uh, let's try delete this one uh, to see if we could uh, get back the uh, hierarchy here on this view. Yeah, mm, you see, we could we could get back the uh, death hierarchy, but uh, once we generate the relationship between the two. Uh, the uh, death hierarchy disappear, but um, this is not uh, an issue because we are not going to use the death hierarchy for our um, uh, visual like this one. Um, so uh, we hope you uh, like this uh, uh, video, and uh, this is a part of our Power BI training program. Uh, if you are interested in the uh, the training and the full training, uh, feel free to contact us. Uh, thank you for your attention.